appreciate having people come out to watch us practice and it gets them going and gets them excited and uh, they feel the passion of the people and <coughs> sorry my voice is <coughs> the passion of the people that are that are watching them play the fans of course uh, weather was great for us and certainly we're in pads for the first day um, guys were getting used to their shoulder pads again they've got pads in their pants now which is, hasn't been the case getting used to that carrying their carrying their, the weight of the pads is, uh, is something new to them uh, I thought it was a highly competitive practice again uh, there was success and failure on both sides of the ball guys really competed hard from start to finish special teams and our offense and defense at competitive periods and uh, we've got a lot of a lot of good stuff on tape a lot of good stuff to learn from and uh, we'll continue to work every day to try to get better yeah absolutely I thought uh, the defense had the jump start on us today and there were there were uh, defensive players who had edges and and uh, we, we got to clean up our some of the things inside, and we'll do that. that that's pretty normal for the, for the first time. Usually, the, the defense has the jump, and, uh, and uh, it usually evens out in the end. I thought as we went along uh, during practice and the competitive portions, we cleaned things up. Uh, I thought the run game was uh, a much better start for us offensively than the, than the passing game was, but it did uh, it did pick up. I was really pleased with the, the quarterbacks. They took care of the football today. Uh, Jay was. Was, was on in terms of uh, finishing his progressions and getting to second and third receivers. Uh, we spread the ball around uh, a lot today again, and that's happened for three day, three straight days, and that's a good sign. Um, and again, I thought the individual periods, the competitive one-on-ones we had today for the first time with receivers and, and DBs and bump and run coverage, I thought it was good for both sides. The guys competed, and uh, hopefully we'll look at the tape and see we got better today. What's your first impression of Kyle? Uh, first day, you know, there's always going to be some good, some bad. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be a process, but, but, but uh, over the last couple of days, very good. And we'll look at the pads. I really don't have a, a straight answer for that. I, I just know that what, what I've seen is some uh, pick up some twists today and do some good things. And I'm sure there'll be uh, two sides of that as we... We, uh, uh, we look at the tape this afternoon, but a good start for him. Are you able to stay in pads down the rest, the rest of training well, we camp? We're able to do that if we want, yes. Are you so, going to do it? Um, we're scheduled to do it. We have so little time. Uh, we have, I think it's 14 practices before our first preseason game, and, and uh, we're scheduled to do that. Could there be change? Certainly, you know, we can be flexible to change that if we, 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 we feel, necess feel necessary. Mark, what are your impressions of Alshon Jeffrey and plays like the ones he made today? Yeah, he had a good start. You know, he's uh, all our guys are doing a good job of catching the football. We've got some strong-handed guys. Elshon has you know, showed the ability to run all the different routes that we've given him. Um, he's a quiet guy. He's a very smart young man, very very high football intelligence. He's a guy who learns very quickly, and, and uh, he's got uh, you know good sponsorship with, uh, with Brandon and some of the other guys around him. So uh, it's been three very good days for him, and we just hope he'll continue to pers progress and and, and stay consistent in his, in his effort and his productivity with each, with each practice here. Alshon's a pretty big receiver. You have Brandon, obviously, and then Martellus Bennett. What does that do uh, for Jay to have three big targets? Yeah, I mean, you, you saw Fendi out there and a couple other guys as well. We've got some, uh, we got some uh, tall guys with, with some girth on them. Um, it's certainly, it, uh, it's easier to see them, you know, um, with, the, with, with what's going on up front. Um, Always a good thing to have guys who can can, can, can run like that and uh, have strong hands and, and make plays. And, and, uh, we're lucky to have them. Excited about working with them each and every day. What have you seen from Bush Rock so far? Oh, he's been steady. And I'll try to speak up a little louder. I know I'm speaking softly, but uh, he's been just steady every day. Um, you know, left tackles are like that. They're 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 quiet, steady guys who, who do their job. And at the end of the day, you you ask, uh, where was Bushrod today? And he was just a, he was there doing his job. And great leader on the field in the meeting room and um, in our locker room um, uh, has really done a, done a lot to um, excite the guys uh, in 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 the uh, in the offensive meeting room and, and just doing a great job on the field all the way around. Yes. Mark, what'd you think of the catch that? Well, it was a good catch. You know, it's a, this, is, this is a game of one-on-one -on -one and contested throwing battles. We talk about it every day, and we, we, uh, you know, we, we look at it hard. You know, who won the contested throwing battle? And, and usually, that's one. That's a point of emphasis on game day. It's turnovers. It's explosive plays. And usually, a contested throw either side of the ball is an explosive play. It's going to be a turnover or a, a catch that's going to going to get you big yards. So. You know, that was evident that he has the ability to make those plays, and it was uh, was good coverage. Two guys going off with the ball, and one guy coming up with it.
Time for two more, guys. Now, is Hempel where you want it now, or is it still an uh, issue to get them in the line quicker and stuff? Well, I think today it was, it was still getting used to used to our pads. I think the tempo is good when we're running plays. We just, we're, we're so far apart here on the fields. What you don't see is when we're at practice at, at Hallis Hall, we're, we're close together so we can save so much time just getting in, in, and, out of, in and out of the huddle and getting, to, getting, to, getting the plays run so we can get done and get off our feet. Um, but overall the tempo was good. It certainly wasn't the tempo that we saw the last couple of days. They're getting used to their pads and running in their pads and, and that'll pick up as we go along.